Hi guys, welcome to Classic Guitar Rock. I'm Jeremy, and I'm going to do a lesson on uh, Working for the Weekend by Loverboy. And I've done this one before. Uh, I was back looking at old videos, and, and it's super foggy and hazy and cloudy, looking like there was a booger on my uh, lens or something. So let's fix that, okay? Paul Dean, one of my favorite guitar players from the 80s. He never gets the, uh, the recognition he needs to, needs to have, but he's excellent. So I'm going to show you the way I do it, and then I'm going to show you kind of the way he does it. Uh, he actually has a video on YouTube uh, giving a lesson on this, and obviously he's, he's the expert. But the way I play it kind of incorporates in some, some of the keyboard sound, and we play this without keyboards, and it, and it works. Obviously, the actual recording has a lot of keyboards in it. But let me show you how, how I play it. It's, it's in B, starts this way. Let me show you that. It's B. Start with the B, just like a B power chord. I use my pinky on my power chords. You could do it that way if you want. But then it does this little walk down. So I'm holding the uh, second fret, fifth string, and the fourth fret, fourth string. And I do this little walk down. See how I'm doing that? Trying to move my fingers out of the way. Okay, so at the end, I'm just holding down the uh, fourth and fifth strings at the second fret. Okay, see how I do that? Then I go open first fret, second fret, open fifth string. See that? So that whole thing from the beginning is... Alright, now Paul Dean when he plays it, he doesn't do that walk down, he just stays at the B. Do it however you want. If you've got a keyboard part picking up that that little descending riff there, I guess you don't need to do that on guitar. But when when I'm playing the guitar, I, I prefer to do the little descending part. All right. So that's the beginning part, and then when it gets into the verse, it's just B B to G. Everyone's watching. See what you do. He does a lot of these little walk-ups. I'm just doing a G, A, B flat, B. So. He does a lot of that in his playing. Everyone's watching. See what you do. Everyone's looking. Then you go to the. It would be a, a an A flat or or G sharp minor. Looking at you. E major. Okay, so did you catch that? The first time through, you go to the G. Second time through, you go to the G sharp minor. Then the E major. So let me play that whole thing for you again, the whole verse. And yes, sing along. You should always sing along. And even, even if you're not a good singer, I'm not a good singer, but you're a better guitar player if you sing while you're playing. Everyone's watching. See what you do. Okay, so that's the verse. 
chorus, you go to a G. Okay, another little walk down. Okay, it's hard for me to play it slow because I'm used to just playing it at the speed of the song. Let me show you that slowed down. So I'm just kind of going. Okay. Uh. I'm just going like a G, F sharp, E, F sharp, G. Okay, so the second time you go up to that A. So let me do the whole thing again. takes you into the chorus, and the chorus, you just play the intro again. You want a piece of my heart? You better stop the stop. You want to be in the show? Come on, baby, let's... Okay, now we get to that little guitar riff. Okay, so that's a G note. Kind of a gallopy thing. Then an octave G. Uh, fourth string, fifth fret, fourth fret, second fret, open. Then back to the second fret, so it's. So. So, uh, the rhythm underneath that, it goes, so G to B, then to C. So those are the basic uh, verses and, and chorus parts. There's a little bridge where he's using a wah, uh, kind of that flangey sounding part. It's actually a wah-wah that he uses where it's just kind of a, just a G to B. But he's like doing a, a slow, wah to give it a flangey sound. Now, here's what I do, just because it's fun. He doesn't do it this way. but what I, and, and the rhythm in that part, by the way, just goes B to G. So the bass... Okay, bass and rhythm guitar just doing that while he's doing the little flangey thing. And then it, it does that twice, and then it goes right back to the... Okay, so it does that. What I do during the flangey part I like doing this. I just do a little harmonic thing on the G string and the B string. I just go like Again, that's not the way he does it, but that's the way I do. He's just going from the G to the B with the with the wah, kind of a flangey sound. Um, those are all the parts uh, of working for the weekend. 
go listen to it to get some of the little nuances. But it's a great song. If you can find someone to sing it, <laughs> you'll have you'll have a lot of fun. Thanks for watching and tune in uh, next time. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Thanks.